All right, yeah, we're we gonna to wait a couple minutes. <laughs> we'll just do. Uh, we'll do a little. We can still do a little. A little chat. Yeah. All right. You excited for this year? I am, man. Dude, yeah. it's gonna be sick. I it, feel like. I was just telling Miguel, I was like, there's going to be so many people now that like COVID's officially over, a bunch of people are going to be like out and stuff like that now. Yo. Oh, howdy. What's up? Yo, what's up? Damn, I haven't seen you forever. What's going on? Seat time, right? Just Definitely. take the time, learn to drive, right? Definitely. So, you know, I've been driving road race cars for 30 years, so I have a inherent understanding of car control. So yep. I think there's some value to that, but it is a huge unlearning. Mm -hmm. of the tools and techniques that I know in order to drift a car on purpose yeah. as opposed to correct the drift to gain speed right? yep. or to retain speed, right? So um, we can talk about this when we're live or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, at Lime Rock, coming through the West Bend, yep. my car is fast in a four-wheel slide, right? So that's actually, I know I'm going fast when mm -hmm. all four tires are sliding, but I'm oh, still yeah. going forward. Definitely, definitely. You know, so... Yep. For Patrick, it's great because he doesn't have anything to unlearn. It's just start from the beginning and go forward. Yep. And so to learn this level of car control, I think, is great. I think it's one of the things that when you see off-road drivers, mm -hmm. you know, guys who did um, oval track dirt racing, things yeah, like yeah. that, they're really good with throttle management and control. And that's drifting's 100% about that. Oh, yeah. You know, and being yep. able to feel the balance transfers. Yeah. So. Yep, yep. That'll be good. Yeah, they're going to 